The International Court of Justice, the ICJ, made a historic decision today regarding the standing of the government of South Africa and its charges of genocide against the government of Israel. Israel must take measures within its power to prevent and punish the direct and public incitement to commit genocide in relation to the members of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip. In other words, the state of Israel's attempt to dismiss these charges was summarily and unequivocally rejected by the ICJ. The Genocide Convention is now in play moving forward while the ICJ is reviewing charges of genocide against the state of Israel. The World Court and the international community will be scrutinizing Israel's actions and statements as it relates to the Palestinian people moving forward. The ICJ also made a decision that humanitarian aid for the Palestinian people should go unobstructed by the Israeli military. Israel must take immediate and effective measures to enable the provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance to address the adverse conditions of life faced by Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Israel is now to report on its actions and statements after one month to the ICJ. What's also important for us in America is now the pro-Israel groups cannot charge Americans with anti-Semitism when we are bringing up the issue of genocide, since the ICJ has now established a precedent that genocide can be judged as it relates to the Israeli government's actions and statements.